Hi guys, welcome to Sidusi Mentors. My name is Ketan. Uh, so I was kind of you know going through my uh, C2C uh, groups and I found this one screenshot uh, posted in one of the C2C Mentors group. I tried to give it a shot and uh, could get the answer around about 50 to 55 seconds. Uh, it's a para summary question by the way. Now I am going to tell you the shortcut that I applied out here. Uh, what I would love to do here is uh, just to have a sort of uh, learning for everyone. Uh, what you can do is you can pause the video out here read the paragraph completely also go through the options and try to answer it by yourself and then probably you know you can kind of you know check the video later and then try to understand it with, whether your option or your approach was correct so this is the uh, passage that uh, i can now i definitely i will take a little bit more time because i'm explaining to you uh, but i'll tell you, you know what was the approach so if you look at this passage is about psychology uh, so if you look at uh, julian jens you know he was a he was a uh, he was an american researcher uh, uh, if i'm not wrong he was studied uh, he was he was a, he was a researcher in uh, yale and uh, princeton institute uh, he was there around about 24 25 uh, years i remember i had gone through this his couple of articles while i was studying in uh, uh, like during my mba so anyway keeping that thing aside so if you look at this article talks about uh, julian jens is one of the person now one of the rule out of 14 rules for para summary that we have in c2c uh, According to the rule, if you go ahead, number one, if you look at the keyword, okay, the first line of your, your passage is Julian Jens believed, okay, I go down, I check my uh, sort of you know, options, A, B, C, D, okay, so A says he was of the opinion or he was of the view, okay, fair enough, I look at the last line, the last line says, uh, you can probably uh, focus a little out here, look at this line, it says, hence consciousness, so that's nothing but your conclusion, now, there is a difference between para summary and para conclusion. So, definitely this option is getting out. You get it to my point, right? Now, then there you there you have uh, option B, which is uh, basically uh, nothing but, you know, uh, Julian Jens believed. C says Julian Jens believed. And D says to assert that language. Fair enough. So, I have now three options. So, out of four, I could get one out, like out of the uh, chart. Now, again, you can go through a little bit of, you know, keywords. Look at this Odyssey characters. Uh, here it is, you know, Iliad. Uh, again, you've got this thing here, Sape. Uh, we've got Julian Jens out here, Odyssey, and all that stuff, right? Now, what I'm going to do is, in a very simple way, I'm going to just go back and check how this paragraph starts because psychology, the language is a little bit higher. So just read, just read first two lines. Julian Jens believed that language needed to exist before consciousness was possible and he cited two Homeric poems, the Iliad and the Odyssey. Okay, simple sibad. Now understand this. This is the whole crux of cracking this para summary. There is this person, okay, he believes in something. Now, I'm not going to make it a psychology paragraph as such. I'm just going to give you a little bit in layman's language. So, there is this person and he believes in something. So, that believe word is the key word. So, he believes in something. Now, it's a very simple thing to understand. When somebody believes in something, he will always try his or her level best to kind of complement his decision, his thoughts, his opinions, his views by giving you certain examples, by giving you justification, by giving you some research, by telling you something that has exactly happened uh, in the past. You're getting my point, right? For example, market crash, 2020, 23rd March, horrible, right? Now people are giving you example which happened in 2008. So we will always go back and give a reference of 2008, probably let's say uh, 1987 or let's say 1929. Because if we want to prove something, we'll always back it up with the example. So this guy, Julian Jens, he believes in something and then he's talking about these two things out here, which is these two things out here. Now, it's a very common sense. It's a very common sense that whatever he has explained in the later part, like this whole part out here, this whole part has to be has to be connected to these two fundamentals. That's simple. So he's going to talk about the Odyssey and he's going to talk about the another thing. Very simple. Now if you look at your option D, D for Delta, it says that to assert that language preceded consciousness, this one keyword which is nothing but assert, this is the game changer. You're getting to my point. So he says something, he believes in something and to prove that he is giving you two examples and then he is going to talk a little bit more about it and that's the reason your option D for Delta is going to be the right answer. Guys, this is what I always tell you. See, see there are a couple of things that you need to understand. Number one, 
you want to read the aeon you can read want to read telegram hindu uh, the indian express guardian all are good stuff all are really flashy stuff looks good you tell your people that student that i am reading guardian you know it's like kind of a show off it might work it might not work so that's number 1 so it's it's all about how good you read number 2 how very well you comprehend it there are certain people they are they, they are a good reader but they are not able to comprehend and number 3 which is i strongly believe you got to catch or you got to hold the nerve of the author trust me the moment you understand how the author is writing this entire passage you are set for your life you'd know how do you attempt it see because if you literally read through this entire passage if you are a good reader or maybe you've been reading the on whatsapp or like maybe guardian or like the new york times whatsapp from last couple of months if you understand this then that's okay but understand this it's a para summary the more you read it the more confused you will be and that's the major problem with verbal ability in particular or maybe verbal as a language in particular the more you read what happens every goddamn option we start believing that ye bhi correct hoga ye bhi correct hoga ye bhi correct hoga right now you might say that but sir how can you take that chance uh, see yaar humne a wala tha a for apple humne to uda diya wo conclusion tha ab agar aap dekhoge b aur agar aap dekhoge c right b mein bhi keywords hai c mein bhi keywords hai but jo passage chalu hua hai jo reason hai main passage ka wo d for delta mein aayega and trust me this is not something that you will be getting by giving or solving one or two para summary questions you got to give it a shot like like simple funda 10 12 para summary question you can do on a daily basis eventually aapko ek mindset ban jata hai you you know guys i always tell you that nobody has to teach you how much is 2 into 2 you getting my point nobody has to tell you how much is 2 into 2 because we have done this multi billion times in our life getting my point so subconscious mind starts answering things for you when you become proven it so practice makes man perfect and again to be become perfect you got to have these rules and all the stuff uh, i just i just released a video wherein i showed that you know para jumble my students are getting like one of the student got 93% accuracy after giving seven mocks uh, topic wise mocks again this is the way we crack or this this is the way my students would crack uh, you know para summary para jumble uh, by by the given rules so verbal is something that you can actually look forward to crack by using some fundamental rules by using some tricks some tips some strategies you can you can go and check my free videos also so i was just going through this and i could take around about 50 to 55 seconds uh, maybe even if you're taking around about 1 one and a half minute but you're getting three marks on the spot that's a good deal right so guys that's it from my side i i i hope you could uh, you know enjoy this video if you want to join us for vrc most welcome thank you so much guys bye bye